to the hidden Archdiocese in Bacolod City. Entering the passageway of Art District, welcome us to the paintings and sculpture of local Bacolod nun artists. Each output is pleasing to the eyes from the astonishing painted walls, colorful graffiti, and facial stone arts. Interacting with the painting painting was fun. It was as if Kissing the lips of the kid. The floor was also visibly part of the masterpiece, as well as the culture flamethrower planning to shoot its heart elsewhere, and I guess I was one of its victims as I fell in love with its style. And I believe these astronauts agree, looking up to them is a lovely sight to see. Orange dominated walls are vibrant to the eyes, and this painting proves it, it gives emphasis to the subject helping us appreciate what's the best part of it. The smiling assembled sculpture is also eye-catching. Watching it gives life to our poker face. The materials were all recycled and it is what makes it more interesting. On to the next! The clock strikes six! Are we late for another masterpiece yet? And look! A sculpture of a horse above the painted wall. We did not see it at first, but the detailed wall made us look above to see some more. That is one a crazy sculpture. It looks like a Chinese dragon. This robotic sculpture formed a different connected particles to some uses. Indeed, Bacolodon's sculptures are spectacular. This ice painting looks a bit scary, but still a cool one. This wing sculpture feels like a haunted to us. Like it was placed in a graveyard and a place where the ghost of a little girl always seen. Now, let's explore the different paintings located in Ayala Mall. So, this one right here is an abstract painting and it looks so well put together. The color really pops out and that makes this painting stand out. The next painting on the canvas show, the life of the farmers and this very beautiful flower painting symbolize the beauty of nature. Another extraordinary sculpture we encountered was Bao, the Philippine national animal. The intricate details it had on its body implicates the life of a farmer, which symbolizes the animal's importance to their livelihood. Without carabao's, farming will be more difficult for the farmers themselves. These structures can be found in the Negros Museum in Bacolod City. The first thing you can see is the entablature. Up in the entablature, there was a Corinthian order where a capital was seen because of his flower and leaves below the small scroll. As our short journey to the wonderful world of arts in Bacolod City is ending, we realize how it isn't necessary to wander afar our locality just to look for arts. Within our hometown, there are lots of majestic visual arts, and with this, we can explore the hidden gems our own fellows had made. <laughs>